This is my Drawbricks model of a 440 American type. Well, it may look not that interesting. This engine has a t story to tell. Not in the game, but in real life. This is the Winkin County Express, which was something that a sculptor made for his grandchildren. But then in 2001, he the guy who made this engine passed away, and then the engine fell into disrepair. It mean, I mean, it was in static display, so it didn't move or anything. But this one does. But anyway, let's get to the story of this engine. But I actually made three of these. But anyways, let's get to the story of the Lincoln Vow. County Express, the Lincoln County Express. The one you see here is the is the normal one right here, but I made two other versions. So I'm, I'm reading this article, The New Wife from the Lincoln County Express by Rise Funk. So basically, here's how he, he spotted the engine. In June of 2014, he discovered a hidden treasure alongside Route 66. I was driving home after a two-day trip. It was the first time I've ever traveled Route 66 west of Oklahoma City. I only went in as far as the Texas border, but it was enough to know I was less than an hour from Tuzla. And then... Out of my, the corner of my eye, I swam on the brakes and scared poor with Sam Maffa to death. Close the Lincoln Creek e e County line in east of Strud, a rusty child-sized steam locomotive peeked out of the bushes. It was impossible to see he when traveling westbound. And I, now would be... Been lucky to notice it, it as I was heading east. The pants on, on the metal help, helped it blend in the, in the environment. I greedily looked at photos of the train, the view surrounding metal sculptures. There's a cow skeleton and a cactus. When I got home, I was surprised to run, learn it. Its existence of a, was a surprise with a few other roadies. I returned to the little train many times over the years. Summer, sp winter, and spring. Sometimes in fo forged in foliage. Other times in the words, Winking County Express. As on, on the side that was visible on the road. Oh, after sharing one of the photos on Facebook, I received a message from the daughter of the man who made, built it, Paul Hicks. It was a pipeline welder that made small road si this sm small roadside action. In the 1970s, for his grandkids, that built the small roadside attraction in 1970 for his grandkids and interested travelers after he passed in 2020, 2001. It fell into disrepair. The guy also wrote a blog about this, which is cool. And then a few weeks ago, I received another Facebook message. This time, it came with a picture freshly painted in town talk of a woke town talk like a local group of volunteers in Strud work, worked with the city to purchase the train and fix it up for the local oil field company next to, next to, to service King Restore. It is over two weeks period and it was installed Old in a small park next door to Rock Cafe. The eventual goal is to use this as part of a miniature golf course. Now, there's actually three versions of this. I'm going to show you a couple pictures of it in real life if you're interested in it. Here's 
the um, model from when it fell into disrepair. And also, here's the um, one that, this is the one, this is the um, restored version. Now, here are the images. Here's when it fell into disrepair. Here's um, the abandoned engine. Here's another picture of it while it was abandoned. Here's this one. It says the Lincoln County Express. The last train that Jesse robbed. And here's the fresh paint one. Now time for my favorite part. Driving all of these. Yes. Driving all of them. Here's the one with fresh paint. I trialed all of these and they do run. These were all built out of Thomas models. It all started from this one. I did build it in Labo Train, I think, at one point, but then I lost it at one point. I tried to make it as accurate as the real one, but who knows? Maybe this is um not what it actually looks like. But oh, oh, oh! Uh, well, I guess that concludes it. Thanks for watching. Good. Bye.